What's going on YouTube? The Packing Ninja here, back again with another packing tutorial. You guys liked the last one so much, I figure I'd do another one and go a bit more in depth this time. Now, as you can see, I got everything ready to go. But before we get to that, got a few factors in determining how I pack. First of all is the destination. Am I going to the beach, staying in the city, going up to the mountains? What type of travel is it? Is it going to be business, vacation? What type of accommodations am I going to be staying in? A hotel? Staying with friends and family? An Airbnb? How long am I going to be gone? Just a couple days? Week? Two weeks? What's the weather going to be like when I'm gone? Is it going to be warm and sunny? Overcast and rainy? Flat out cold? What type of activities am I going to be doing? Staying at the hotel, just sitting by the pool or the beach? Going to be outdoors, uh, hiking and all outdoor activities? Or just exploring? Am I going to need to dress formally, casually, a little bit of both? What type of transportation am I using to get to my destination? Am I flying on a plane? Driving? Taking a train? Taking a bus? Is it going to be on a cruise? What type of luggage have I chosen? Am I going to be doing a checked bag? A carry-on bag? And if it is a carry-on bag, am I going with a roller-type carry-on bag or a duffel bag? All these are factors in determining how I pack. Now, in this case, I'm going to Oahu, Hawaii. Can be staying there for a week. Can be staying at a hotel. And luckily, Hawaii is very casual. Don't need to dress up that much. Now, the main factor in this trip is that it's going to be cold when I leave. It's going to be about 41 degrees here when I fly out. But it's going to be 80 when I get there, so it's all good. So, all these are factors in determining how I've... Uh, Got everything organized here and what I'm going to be taking with me. And uh, showcase all that. This is going to be my travel outfit. I've got this uh, absolutely lovely leather jacket. This is from Weston Pearl. They're not a paid sponsor or anything, but I did want to give my uh, friend's company a shout out. I will leave a link in the description down below. I've got a uh, polo shirt from Ministry of Supply. And a pair of jeans. Now for once I get there, I've got uh, this button down. This is a, a linen shirt from Club Monaco. I've got a couple of uh, floral shirts. These are from John Henrik. I've got a rash guard, long sleeve. And obviously I've got to have the Hot Tub Club t-shirt. If you want one of these uh, to support the channel and support me, I'll leave a link in the description down below. For footwear, for casual, I've got my uh, Adidas Gazelles. A little bit more dressy, I've got my Geox loafers. And a pair of flip flaps, or as we call these in Hawaii, sleepas. All right, I've also got my 311 kit, my dot kit. A couple of Anson belts. This packing cube, I've got my underwear already packed. No need for you guys to see that. A pair of enemy shades. These are the enemy threes. A few pairs of socks. For this first uh, gray packing cube, in here is going to go uh, the Hot Tub Club shirt, the Rash Guard, as well as this pair of board shorts and a pair of Public Rec All Day Every Day pants for working out and lounging about. This black packing cube. I'm gonna have four pairs. These are all uh, hybrid style shorts. These can be worn as regular shorts as well as board shorts. And this last packing cube, this is gonna be uh, all the button downs as well as uh, this t-shirt right here. Now, I'm gonna be showing you two ways of packing. One way is going to be in this, uh, this is a four-wheel front lid open international carry-on from Tumi. And I've also got, uh, this is the double expandable duffel from Tumi as well. Now, this is big enough. It can go in the, in the bin. And with dimensions of this bag, this is actually small enough to where, even if it's stuffed full, I can slide it underneath the seat in front of me. 
And I'm just about six foot tall, so even with that stuff full, I will still have uh, plenty of leg room. In the meantime, I'm going to get these all uh, packed in their respective cubes. Be back in just a moment. Okay, and we're back. I've got uh, everything stuffed into, uh, or packed into, not stuffed, but uh, these are three of these small e-bags packing cubes. Now we're going to start, this is the double expandable duffel from Tumi. Now the key to packing with a duffel is to go in layers. The bottom layer I'm going to do is shoes, and I'd like to arrange them like this. This way, uh, the outer ends of the shoe will give support to the side of the bag. And we'll also leave a space in the middle for me to pack things like, uh, oops, be able to put my dop kit and things like that right in the middle. So creates a nice first layer. So I did it like this because it'll be a little bit hard to see inside the bag. But I will go ahead and get these shoes into uh, shoe sleeves and get that packed in there. Okay, now we got the first layer going in these uh, blue shoe sleeves. I've got the uh, Geox loafers. Black ones here, I've got the uh, flip-flops. In the center, I have the dop kit. And on the either side of that, I have the uh, two Anson belts. This is going to be the first layer. And the next layer is going to be these three packing cubes. We'll get these in there. Okay, got the packing cubes in there. Got that second layer going. Still have plenty of room. Now we'll get the uh, 311 kit. The... Uh, underwear in that uh, packing cube, and then the uh, sunglasses. All right, got those in there now. And the 311 kit is on top. Perfect for when going through TSA, you can just uh, quick access it. And uh, this bag is all good to go. And uh, with the dimensions of this bag, it can actually go in the seat in front of me and still have plenty of leg room and good to go. No use in checking the bag. All right, that's how I pack a duffel bag. Next, I'm going to show you how to pack a four-wheeled roller using these uh, same cubes and everything, just uh, in a different format. Okay, now we have the uh, four-wheeled roller. Now, this is a little bit different since this is sped up, uh, split up more like a clamshell versus a open duffel, but still can pack carry-on only using all the same things I packed into the duffel bag. Now, in this bottom part of the clamshell, this is where I'm going to start with the shoes. Because in this bag, it's still got these little nubs uh, for where the, the wheels kind of stick up a little bit. But there is a hack around it. There is the top side of the loafer that kind of goes at an angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that as the angle right over that nub. And use this one on the other side. That takes care of that. All right, next we're going to put the uh, flip flops here in the middle of those. top here. Here's this gray one because it's a little bit more full. We'll put this one up here. And also we can put underwear there. And the two belts. Now, luckily, this does have the luggage straps, so we can get these strapped in. And see, I can even manage to do this one-handed. Got that all squared away. Now, one of the bonuses to this bag is that it also has a front lid access. There we go. Now, up top here, 
doesn't stick. This packing cube. This packing cube. Put the 311 kit here up top. That way it'll be quick access for TSA. Put the sunglasses on this outer edge. Luckily it's a hard case, but still got some padding in here as well. And with the dot kit, we'll just fold this flat. Put that there. And we got the 311 kit right up front. Easy access for TSA. And we got this bag all squared away. Now, in this case, I'm going to leave this bag checked like this. Or not checked, but packed just like that. I'm going to put the handle up. Now, the good thing about Toomey is they have these add a bag sleeves so I'm gonna leave this duffel bag empty but as my additional bag I can slip this right over this add a bag sleeve sorry trying to do this one-handed but there we go now I've essentially got two carry-on size bags, both able to fill with, obviously, plenty of clothes. But uh, I can roll through the airport, I can put the roller up in the bin above me, the bag underneath the seat in front of me. I'll have plenty of room for souvenirs and things like that to bring back. And uh, that's how we roll. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask those below as well. Hope these tips helped you out. Happy travels.